I'm a happy canner now. You, you. That sounded really stupid, didn't it? Locate your lid first. Don't ever bang. I don't know what you're looking at. But that's okay. Not really. Hold, please. And then, uh, I'll, I don't know. Every canner has a dirty little piece. That is hard to say. Try saying that. A steady stream of steam. Hold on, let me look before I start dumping here. My hands are so clean right now, it's pathetic. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we are canning potatoes. I have a lot of potatoes. I can't even say the word. I've been peeling potatoes for hours, it seems like. But I have a lot of potatoes. I have two of these bags, which these are, I have 20 pounds of potatoes I peeled. I did that, yes I did that. We're saving these in case I wanna cook them for dinner. Now, Presto Canning Book. Everybody has one of these, a book or a manual that came with your canner. You need to get your manual out and read because I'm a new canner and I don't, I don't wanna do this wrong. Potatoes, white potatoes. I got it, I got my instructions. I have a lot of potatoes. And let me tell you, these are soaking in water with some fruit fresh so they don't turn brown. I've done this I've already done this once. By done this once, I mean I've already canned potatoes once and we've eaten all of them because they were good. They didn't change color and they tasted good. So I'm doing the exact same thing again that I did. I have a Presto double canner, double stack canner. And in here, I have 12 cups of water because that's what my canner calls for. So you need to know what your canner calls for when you add water in your canner. You need to have enough water in your canner so your canner doesn't run dry. You also wanna add a splash of vinegar in there because it just makes your jars shiny. Clean, crystal clean, you know. And we have well water, so it helps with that. The process time on these potatoes is 40 minutes. I have, I'm doing these quart-sized jars. These are clean, they were in my dishwasher, so they're warm. They're not hot, 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 super hot, but they're warm. They're hot enough for me to touch. What we're gonna do is put these potatoes in this jar right here. I'm also gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt into these potatoes because I don't like a lot of salt. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt first. And you don't wanna measure over your jar because you may have an accident and accidentally dump all the salt into your jar. Not that I've ever done that before, but yeah okay so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna put a little liquid in the bottom first you want hot liquid into a hot jar that's gonna go into the hot canner that's that's the goal here but I do like to add some liquid at the bottom first you don't have to do it that way but I just like to do it that way and my hands are so clean right now it's pathetic let me tell you so I'm just touching these potatoes when I tell you they're clean, they're clean. Trust me, I've washed them over and over. I've peeled all these potatoes. My fingers are like, they're, you know, when you get them watery fingers, I got watery fingers. I have a feeling I may end up doing two runs of potatoes because I, I, I what, what was I thinking? It's already six o'clock at night. That might be too much. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to be up doing potatoes all night long. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. So remember, hot into hot. And we want, hold on, let me look before I start dumping here. One inch headspace. Always check your headspace, which is going to be to about the bottom, bottom rung on this jar. Well, it is the bottom rung on the jar. And the potatoes should stay white because they were in the fruit fresh. They did last time. They didn't like roast me out or anything. They stayed a nice color. But we're gonna add a little more water here and then we're gonna bubble. A little more, okay. We're gonna bubble this. You gotta make sure you get all your air bubbles out. I'll tell you, canning potatoes, this was really nice to have just on hand that I could just grab a thing of potatoes and it's like throw it in with the roast. Let me see that in. So that's good. Here on the other end of your bubbler is this measure. Yeah, we're right at one inch. 
the biggest part is the one inch and you can just stick it in there and measure like that where we are right at one inch now what you want to do over here I got a little little bowl little bowl that has vinegar in this you want to make sure to clean the rim with vinegar also check for chips or cracks while you're doing this I've seen some people go all the way around that that really isn't necessary as long as you get this top rim that's all you really need to get then we'll grab one of our little lids put our little lid on there look at that beautiful and my rings where's my rings here's my rings now you want these just finger tight so just put them on you want the pressure and the air bubbles are going to come out while the while it's in the canner so if you had the lid on tight that wouldn't be able to happen possibly you could get a broken jar from that i'm going to go stick this in the canner and i'll be right back i think we'll do one more one more jar and then uh i'll I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll do one more jar. How's that sound? So again, I'm going to add my salt. Not with that, with this. I was try I was picking up my magnet holder. I have a half a teaspoon of salt. You could add anything in this that you wanted. Whatever you like. And then I'm going to add a scoop of water. Scoop of water. And then here come the potatoes. And by the looks of I'm really going to be doing potatoes all night. I hope, I wonder if they could sit in the refrigerator in that fruit fresh all night. I don't, I'm going to be up all night. But that's okay. Not really. You're good. My hands are clean. Oh, look. There's one I didn't cut. Didn't cut that one up. All right. Again, I'm just going to maybe push them down. Don't ever bang your jar on your countertop. Don't bang, bang. You could do it with your, the palm of your hand. Or just kind of wiggle them around get more in there but don't ever bang all right more potatoes let's make more around see all right let's see I don't know that would be good now we're gonna add water in I have a bigger scoop I should get my bigger scoop out that's what I should do we're close we have to okay then we're gonna bubble this one that one's packed a little tighter maybe I'll do that with all of them let's wiggle it around a little bit and we we could add just a little tiny bit more liquid to that not very much just a little probably like that probably did it wipe the rim check the rim while you're wiping it I also check these before I put them in the dishwasher the dishwasher gets them really hot our lid there we go onto there ring Come on. Ring. finger tight and then in the canner that is it when I'm all done filling the jars and ready to start the canner I'll get back with you that sounded really stupid didn't it I know it's been a long day I've already canned carrots I canned carrots and beets today so it's been quite the day seven seven we got seven jars in the canner so that's pretty good got those in there I'm gonna be up late tonight or these are gonna soak in my refrigerator and I'm gonna get them done tomorrow that's probably what's gonna happen I'm gonna put the lid on this canner but first we're gonna check to see where the lid is okay the lids over here locate your lid first you want to check the gasket around the outside of it that's that black thing and right here this little piece see that dirty little piece right there every canner has a dirty little piece can't get that clean you want to make sure you could see through that hole there and I can that's a good thing so I'm gonna put my lid on my canner everything is checked my gauge is on there firmly I don't know what you're looking at hold please let me move you up I'm a happy canner now lids gonna go on the canner there's an arrow on this side you line up the arrows and try to get it on there every time I try to get it on here I struggle you know, it's just, it's, there close the canner and it's ready to go I'm gonna turn the heat up on my stove a little bit not a lot you want the pressure in the canner to build up slowly not fast don't crank the heat up on high let it build up slowly you'll see out of this little hole right here out of this pipe a steady stream of steam that is hard to say try saying that a steady stream of steam coming out 
once you see that steady stream of steam, you set your timer for 10 minutes and you let it just steam. And then when the timer goes off, you get your weight or your jiggler and then you could set your jiggler on there and the pressure will start building in your canner then. And for me, when I reach 11, that's when I start my timer for my potatoes, which I'll have to recheck. Let me see. I think it said 30 minutes. Let me recheck that. 40 minutes. So it's going to be in the canner for 40 minutes at 11 PSI. Now, if any time that drops below 11, you have to start the whole process all over again. So we're going to watch the canner. But everything you do with your canner, you want it to be slow. You want it to heat up slow and you want it to cool down slow. I'm going to wait for this to get all done and then you will see it when it's done. You might see my jars in the morning, but no, that's what I'm going to be doing. Be safe when you can. Don't leave your kitchen and follow the directions in your book and you should be a good canner. I'm trying. I'm practicing. This is like the fourth thing I've ever canned, so I'm, I'm practicing. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's not the next morning. I made it to, the, it's like 9.30 at night, but we did it. We did it. You want to see? Look, they're still bubbling. And I don't know if you can tell how white they still are. They still have a nice color, and I hear crackling and popping. So, yeah. Well, not crackling. They're popping. But they turned out really nice. I'm quite happy with them. So there you go. Read your manual and do, do what your manual says. See how easy this was? Anybody can do this. I was afraid to can at first. Now I can with Rob Not Home and it works out quite well. So there you go. Easy canned potatoes. The fruit fresh worked out great. Soaking them in the fruit fresh. The rest of the potatoes are soaking in the fruit fresh overnight because I just don't have the energy to can them. We'll get to them tomorrow. So, subscribe, come back for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.